Ja late, you know, it's it's so much fun to watch. He's an incredible ball player, man. But this two things come to mind. This discussion and this continued reality where they are one team with John on the floor and and different when he you know when when he didn't play earlier, like he's he's incredible. But then you see him jump thirteen feet in the air and and just ignore the fact that LeBron is clearly sitting there ready to take the charge and go down to the floor in the same exact way that got him hurt in the first place. He re-injured that hand a couple times during the game. Um, you know anybody who watches this game and wants the guys to make the most of their talent, you hope he can play twenty years when you look at that game. And it's just this continued idea that like like somebody has got to convince him to tweak his style a little bit. He's not going to last ten years playing like this. Yeah, it's difficult though. You know, if what makes you great, like you don't want to, you know, neuter that. Um, you know, I dealt with it a little bit. You know, a very smaller version of it, I guess you'd say. But covering James Wiseman, uh, his first couple of years with the Warriors. How were how did he get injured? He went up for an alley oop, a kind of ambitious alley oop. He came down on his wrist, hurt his wrist. It really stalled out his rookie year. Then obviously he uh later in the year comes back. He he goes up for a pick and roll, you know, monster poster dunk, gets knocked off balance and, and tears his meniscus. That took away like a year and a half early, early on. And I know part of the post injury process as they as they were trying to get him back to health was like, you know. How do you land, you know, talk about different landing spots, which dunk should you go for, or not go for. And, you know, there are much higher profile players in history. You know, Michael Jordan, I believe, is one who early in his career, Dwayne Wade for sure is one. Remember fall down eight times, get up or fall yep. down seven, get up eight. Yep. Um, he was a crash dummy. A lot of these, you know, superstar players in their early 20s are crash dummies. And then Dwayne Wade needs to sharpen up that, you know, 18 foot bank shot. Remember how he then became such a good mid range shooter. And that's probably the next phase for jaw. Like trust the floater more, trust the bank shot more, trust the finesse a little bit more. But, you know, I covered Russell Westbrook and Russell Westbrook was an insane crash dummy when he was that age. And uh, there was a lot of like, you know, wondering when the next big injury will come sadly. And he did have some knee trouble early in his career, but generally he stayed healthy through it all. And um, I don't know. It's a challenge. Like, cause you well, can't just I guess, like, hey, job play like Mike Conley. Like you can't do that. Those right? are valid points. And so maybe, it, maybe I went too macro. I mean, but in the micro you've got what is coming. I, mean, I give him credit. He's playing through a lot of pain. You can see it on his face. Um, you would think you would at least, you know, temper it down a tiny bit in the, in the scope of that one game. 